just take one second. All right, Representative Bennett, are you ready? I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take your bills uh, in order. We're just going to introduce them one at a time, if you would. Um, would you like to introduce to us House Bill 5154, please? Sure thing. Which one? Okay, 5154, the healing art of acupuncture, uh, changes the title 37.2 of Title V and throughout, replacing the words with Oriental medicine with Chinese medicine, allows the individuals who are otherwise certified to practice acupuncture and Chinese medicine. Well, see, because we're talking a lot about uh, treatment for drugs, um, the acupuncture bill, there's, there's a procedure uh, called auricular acu-detox, de and um, they're having good results with it. They're having good results with, with uh, addiction, um, overdosing, um, you know, taking care of the anxiety related with it. And um, I have witnesses that can get into it a lot more than I can. So... Um, you know, this is a, it's a good bill, and I've ran it for the last couple of years, and let's hope it passes this time. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Bennett. Are there any questions at this point for the sponsor of the bill? If not, we will go ahead and move on to uh, virtual testimony. Hello, this is Representative Casey. Who am I speaking with? Hello, this is James Shelton. Hello, James. Uh, this is Representative Casey from the House Health and Human Services Committee. I have you online now testifying on House Bill 5154 regarding uh, the healing art of acupuncture and oriental medicine. If you could keep your commentary brief and to the point, we would appreciate it. Representative Bennett has given us a small overview of the bill, and if you would just go ahead with your testimony, we would appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Chairman. Thank you, members of the committee. Uh, my name again is uh, James Shelton. I'm a doctor of acupuncture in Rhode Island. I'm also serving as the president of the board of directors of the Polka Technical Institute Acupuncture School in Portland, Oregon. Uh, testifying in strong support for the Bill 5154, and I would like to support in particular the expansion of the five needle ear protocol uh, 5NP, as we call it. Um, I've studied the history of acupuncture in this country, and uh, 5NP was developed in the 1970s in the Bronx, New York, by a group of people, mostly people of color, a combination of acupuncturists, community members. Uh, this group was committed to helping their community during the heroin epidemic. Uh, from there, for most same people, we got the uh, patient bill of rights that's in every hospital in this country, and we also got this 5NP. And since then, and in particular since 1985, with the formation of uh, what's called NADA, the National Acupuncture Detox Association, 5NP has been used by community members in 23 states around the country, uh, in, around the world, in places such as the United Kingdom, Finland. Norway, the Philippines, India, Tunisia, and Japan. Um, now, 5MP has been used for opioid withdrawal, long-term recovery, uh, for disaster relief, PTSD, uh, in all types of pain. Um, now I've, I've been listening to uh, the, the prior bills, and so I know you've just heard a lot about, uh, you know, the opioid epidemic and, and, and the other uh, drugs that are ravaging our community. And uh, the expansion of 5MP and the expansion of who could use it and where it could be used uh, would be a very safe, a very inexpensive, and a very effective way to help the people of Rhode Island. 
Um, I did my, part of my clinical training at a Suboxone clinic in Portland, Oregon, and I saw firsthand the powerful effect of 5-MT. Uh, acupuncture triggers the parasympathetic nervous system, and it's one way where people can feel deep relaxation without getting high. I've also worked with 5-MT in the ear clinic that's a part of a partnership between the Providence Community Health Center and Providence Community Acupuncture. And now that clinic is open to all PCHC patients. Um, and in addition to being an acupuncturist, I'm also in long-term recovery. I continue to work with other people in recovery, those still using, those newly sober, and others in long-term recovery. And this bill would allow for peer recovery specialists to get properly trained in 5MP and to be able to use this very inexpensive, very safe tool that could help thousands in Rhode Island. Thank you, James, for your testimony. Are there any questions for our witness at this time from the, uh, from the committee? Hearing none, we will move on to our next one. Thank you, James. Hello, Dr. Montero. Yes. Welcome back to the Committee on House, uh, House Committee on Health and Human Services. Uh, we appreciate your testimony on previous bills. We are now here with uh, representatives, uh, Representative Bennett's bill, House Bill 5154, regarding the healing art of acupuncture. If you would go right ahead with your testimony, we would appreciate it. Thank you, Chairman Casey and members of the committee for hearing this bill. Um, again, I know we uh, testified on it a couple of weeks ago, and so I will be very brief. Um, and also I know that James Shelton just gave you the folks an excellent uh, overview of the history and, and some of the uses. Um, and really uh, thank you to um, Chairman Miller for um, uh, supporting us with this bill for, for several cycles. Um, Basically, um, the profession, licensed professionals that would be allowed to use the 5NP ear protocol um, if this legislation were passed are social workers, mental health counselors, certified peer recovery specialists, nurses, and uh, certified chemical dependency counselors. Currently, licensed chemical dependency professionals are able to use this from previous legislation that passed several years ago. Um, we worked in conjunction with Laura Levine and Kodak on that um, legislation, and Laura um, was not able to be here tonight, and, and I know she testified in the past and submitted written testimony on this as well, and uh, just wanted me to, to mention her, her support for this as well tonight. Um, basically, um, it, yes, this is an inexpensive tool. We should be using all the tools that we have available to help prevent uh, overdose, to help keep people stay in recovery long term, to um, work on all of the trauma and stress that people have been experiencing from the pandemic and, and just from uh, life in general, honestly. And um, th we know that this is a safe and effective tool. And um, uh, sorry, I'm just uh, it's uh, currently in New Hampshire, Connecticut. Uh, there, this, there is a, a provision that allows non-acupuncturists to use this. Massachusetts has legislation pending uh, this year that would do the same thing. So um, if anyone has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. And then the other part of our bill is really just a, a statutory cleanup of language that has caused confusion in the rules and regs process and has led to some people having unnecessary steps to getting licensure, which we know uh, has an unintended effect of creating, possibly creating less access when people can't get licensed um, easily. So I would just urge your support for 5154, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Montero, for your testimony. Are there any uh, questions for our witness, please? Okay, hearing none, then we will go ahead and close the hearing on House Bill 5154 by Representative Bennett.